pray to God for rain. And happy Monday. I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. And if you live in Tucson for very long, you find or get or refer to one of these. This is a rain gauge, if you don't know. I plucked it out of our backyard. It's something we use in Tucson. Um, when it rains, I'll run out there after the storm has passed and excitedly, like a kid looking under a tree at Christmas to see how much rain we got. Rain and water is a big deal for Tucsonans. We celebrate it. And I'm thinking about rain today on this Monday because in our schedule of readings from the two-year daily lectionary, today brings us to the prophet Zechariah. The book of Zechariah in the Old Testament. Listen to chapter 10. Pray to God for rain. Pray to God the rainmaker. See, the situation in 450 BC when Zechariah was a prophet was that the people of Israel now had an incredible opportunity to come back home from exile, to return to Jerusalem, to Judea, uh, Israel, from faraway places like Babylon. And so Zechariah the prophet was an encourager, an inspirer. Um, he tells, he tells in his chapter 10, uh, don't be foolish again. Uh, don't be falling for false gods. Only worship the real God. Only the real living God can revive our spirits, can bring restoration to God's people. God speaks and says, I will restore them because I have compassion on them. Today I was at a community festival. Excuse me, this last weekend I was at a community festival and there were interesting tents and booths and vendors. Some were selling tarot cards. Some were selling um, curious, what looked to be like satanic stars for predicting the future. It was strange. Clearly, today in our society, the prevalence of other religions is prevalent. Uh, we see them all around. And just like in the Old Testament days, it rings true today. Who is the real God who brings us to life, who restores life, who brings rain, and beyond rain brings us his Savior, living with us in history to radically change things from death to life. As we start this week, this week of giving thanks, call upon the living God and no other. He is the one who can restore you, revive you, because he has compassion upon you.